So thank everyone. Thank you everyone for being here today. And whatever time it is, whatever day it is, wherever the world, wherever in the world you are today, tonight, or tomorrow, thanks for being here. What I hope to achieve in the next three sessions is to show you some solid ideas about day trading, actionable ideas, clear ideas, not to obfuscate, but to clarify and elucidate. Let me say at the outset that if you have any questions, please text me a message and I'll be glad to answer it best I can. I don't have all the answers. I just have a few good ones. And that's all you really need. The thing that I want to say more than anything else is this. I wrote the three best-selling day trading books that John Wilde at McGraw-Hill ever published. The books were well, well received. They were bestsellers. They were clear. Everything about them was excellent. But the books were very specific in saying that not everyone is able to day trade. Not everyone should day trade. Not everyone can day trade. Not everyone has the ability to day trade or the temperament to do it. The thing that never ceases to amaze me is that people want to do the most difficult thing there is to do. Why would anyone begin day trading S&P futures, the most difficult game in town, the game that has the most competition, the game that's hardest to win. It would, be like, it would be like me going into the gym and trying to deadlift 380 pounds the very first time I went there. I can just do my body weight right now, and I've been doing it for two years. So the thing that I would say to you is this. Try and do it the easy way, not the hard way. Try and begin with a game at which you can succeed not a game that's so difficult to win, a game where your competition are the fastest and bestest traders in the world, most of whom are trading with machines that are faster and better than you. So think about that before you do anything or before you continue anything. So I'm going to give you some ground rules and some ideas first and try to make this as specific as I can. Let me say that Day trading is a different kind of animal. It's different than anything else you will do. We can do 90% of all of our trading strictly mechanically, strictly by the rules for entry and exit. But day trading is different. In day trading, we can enter mechanically on very specific rules. But the exit strategy, by its very nature, has to be more flexible. The reason is that we are forced to exit at the end of the day. If it's a real day trade, we have to make decisions. We have to make decisions we might not otherwise have to make if we were keeping a trade. And those decisions can be many and varied, and they're subject to the whims of the marketplace. They're subject to geopolitical events. And so it's not a one-size-fits-all situation. I'll talk more about that as we go forward. So today, we're going to look at the methods in detail. And they're different than what some of you have seen before. We're going to look at some potential trades developing tomorrow. We're going to talk about how to enter orders and execute some of these trades. I'm going to say a little bit about which markets are best and which stocks are best. And a little bit, a little bit about managing risk and margin. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start at 6 a.m. my time here in California. Stocks open at 6.30. We're going to take a look at some trades that are coming up. We're going to look at some live charts and signals during the first two hours of the day. We're going to look at some setups, triggers, and follow-throughs. 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 I think it's follow-throughs. Follow-through or follow-through, I don't know. Talk about what to expect, and then we're going to look at trades for the next day. Then on Tuesday, we're going to look and see what happened to the trades for Monday. And we're going to see if there's any trades for the day on Tuesday. And remember, it's all about day trading. So unless you have a specific question about position trading, about holding a trade, 
I'm not going to cover that. That's a whole different animal, an entirely different beast, and we're not going to discuss that. So let me talk to you a little bit about the contradictory world of day trading. I'm going to go through this rather quickly. So first of all, it's not as simple as it sounds. Of course, the words day trade is very simple, but it's not as simple as it sounds in reality. But on the other hand, it's not as complicated as it seems. It's not as easy as people have been led to believe. So when you watch the ads on TV, you see some person day trading and he, he's saying, get in here and get out there. And, and there's some lady at a restaurant and she's covering her short positions. You know what? It's not, it's not real. If you've been in the trenches, you know what I'm talking about. So it's not as easy as we've been led to believe. So who's leading us to believe that it's easy? Who's leading us to believe that it's easy is the people who have a vested interest in selling you things that make it look easy. Whether that's a broker who wants you to day trade, or whether it's a system seller who wants you to buy a system for day trading, or whether it's a person who wants you to attend a webinar that it's not clear, so that you come away from the webinar not sure of what to do, so you can't blame them when, the, when it's wrong, and so that you want to come back to them and buy more information to clarify what was not clear to begin with. It's not, it's not that simple. So, on the other hand, it's not as difficult as we've been led to believe. We have to find what we want from it and extract that and use it in that particular way. It's not as fast as we've been led to believe. So, I'm going to show you some day trades that I've done, sometimes 30, 40, 50 trades a day or more. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't like it. That may be right for you, but it's not right for me. It's not as easy to learn as we've led to believe. It's not as hard to learn as we've been led to believe. It's not as objective or as mechanical as we've been told. In other words, it's not turn the crank and get the, mu the, the good music and then make the money or turn it into a money machine. It's not as intuitive as we've been led to believe. Some people say, I think I understand the market. I don't need a trading system. I'm just going to look at it and it'll tell me what to do. So the bottom line is what we make it and I'll show you my way. And all I can do is show you my way and hope that you can extract some useful information from some of the things that I have done and, and, and developed and, and, and trade and see if it works for you.